Each year, Microsoft Research hosts hundreds of influential speakers from around the world, including leading scientists, renowned experts in technology, book authors, and leading academics, and makes videos of these lectures freely available. With the wide penetration of mobile internet, social networking systems are becoming increasingly popular in the developing world. Most social networking sites make heavy use of text and are therefore unusable by low literate populations. And while smartphones are increasingly available, they are still out of reach for many poor people. In low income context, users often access a technology through a friend, relative, or neighbor who owns or knows how to use it. We call this mediated use of technology. We ask, what would a social networking application for low literate users look like? How would it be used? And can the technology work through a human mediator? We designed Krishi Pustak, an audiovisual social networking mobile application for low literate farming populations in rural India. A number of user and system constraints had to be taken into account to design this system. First, it had to be mediated. That is, an expert user who owned the phone could help low literate farmers use and manage the application. Second, the system was designed for use in settings with limited or no connectivity. Third, since the system was aimed at low literate users, no text was used and all content was audiovisual. Finally, because the application was intended to increase communication among all the farmers in an area, everyone was connected to everyone else, and we did not have the concept of friends or groups. We worked with Digital Green and BIFE, two nonprofit organizations who disseminate best practices in agriculture among farming communities. They work with mediators from local villages and communities to screen videos and demonstrate agriculture techniques. We worked with eight agriculture mediators who were given Nokia Lumia 820 phones to register and work with farmers on Krishi Pustak. Let's see how a mediator registers a farmer on the system. The farmer records an audio message introducing himself. Then he captures a self photograph with the phone's camera. Here is a list of all the farmers that the mediator has registered on his phone. Now once the farmer has an account, let us see how he makes a post. The farmer can make a photo post or an audio post. On the top of the home page, he taps the camera icon, captures an image, and then records an accompanying audio message. He then selects one of the three tags, agriculture, personal, or animal husbandry. Selecting a tag will later help him toggle views of relevant content on the home page. To make an audio post, he would tap the microphone icon on the home page beside the camera icon and then record an audio message. Now let us see how another farmer can view and reply to posts. Another farmer selects her picture from the list of people registered on the mediator's phone to log in to Krishi Pustak. On the home page, the most recent posts are shown at the top of the page. The farmer sees a photo and taps on the loudspeaker icon to hear the accompanying audio message. To make an audio reply to this post, she taps on the microphone icon above the photo. To make a photo reply, she would tap on the camera icon on the photo. To manage intermittent internet connectivity, mediators can synchronize content with the server whenever the internet is available by tapping on the vertical bars on the login page. In addition to user-generated posts, farmers can view third-party content that we seeded on Krishi Pustak. We pushed a digital green video into the application to study uptake among farmers. 
Over four months, 306 farmers registered through the mediator's phones and used Krishi Pustak to make 514 posts and 180 replies. User evaluations show that posts had a strong professional theme. 62% of posts were related to agriculture, with many pictures of cows and agricultural fields. Similarly, the digital green video on cattle mulching was very popular among our users. However, farmers were also interested in other, more social content, such as pictures of families, village events, religious images, natural scenery, and such. In the future, as smartphones become more available, we hope to use what we've learned from Krishi Pustak to create mobile social networking applications that are useful and usable by farmers as well as other low literacy groups in both rural and urban settings.